Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is terribly accurate. Thanks for showing up to watch this video. So this is about the end of 2016, even though there's a few more days left only, and then going into 2017. So for those of you who've been subscribed a long time, thanks so much for your support, but also you might remember these stop, drop, and roll readings. Now, um, those have since moved over to the Patreon site, but I'm doing it here now, again, um, just because 2016 numerology-wise was about hard lessons learned, um, facing some real truths, getting rid of some icky-ish, going through some tough stuff, and then coming into new beginnings with those lessons that we've learned, all that knowledge that we've acquired into 2017 for better stuff. You know, it's all about new beginnings. So um, what this means is that we're going to look at what should you stop doing, what should you drop from your life, and then what should you roll with? What are you doing a really great job with that you can carry in to 2017 for the best 2017 ever? So here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do we need to stop doing? Okay. Stop. <laughs> Some of us are like, we are so done with 2016. Fuck this, fuck that. Moving on, right? That's great. But we don't need to be um, real. Some of us are being a little bit hasty and jumping the gun as far as new adventures, um, new opportunities, just like grasping a hold of new, new, new all the time. For 2017. Now that's wonderful. We should have adventure and joy and excitement in our life, but we might be um, grasping at too many things at once. You know, we might have the capacity to feel overwhelmed. Now a challenge with this is the emperor. So that is about control. Okay, we just don't want to lose control. We might be taking too much on. Okay, so stop doing that. You know, determine what are the things that are most important to us, what are the things that we're most excited about, and then just handle those one at a time. Now, I'm going to start, I've noticed we've been getting a lot of um, number messages and readings lately and personal readings and these readings right here. So I'm going to write down your number messages and then go over those a little bit later in this video. So um, that's what we need to stop doing. What do we need to drop from our lives? Um, the devil in reverse. So, <laughs> you know, with that attitude of F this, F that, like, bye, Felicia, like, I'm done with this bullcrap, there's some things that we are tied to that we can't necessarily avoid or let go of entirely. Um, and that could be certain relationships in our lives. Um, maybe something your sister is doing is driving you absolutely up the wall. It's driving you crazy. And so you're like, okay, well, forget you. Like, I'm just not going to deal with you. But actually, you're tied to her. And you have to be, and you're going to be forever, so it's not really realistic to be like, adios, okay? Now, um, what else do, I feel like there's something else we need to drop from our life. Oh, okay, so this is um, looking at things very up close, like seeing the situation from one viewpoint only, whereas if you were to take a big step back and look at the bigger picture, you might see things a little bit differently. And so, like I'm saying, you know, with the analogy with a sibling or with a circumstance, with a job, anything like that, maybe you need to look at the bigger picture instead of focusing on this problem right here. It might seem like a gigantic problem, and I'm not discrediting it and saying that it's not. But look at the big scope of things um, before you go making these sort of decisions that could um, affect you negatively in the long term, whereas, you know, in the short term, you might get a little bit of satisfaction from that. Now, what is it we need to roll with in our life? Um, so some of us are not overindulging um, in our spirituality. Some of us are not very connected at all, and those of you that are not are not obviously going to be watching the video, so it's not relevant. Um, but, you know, maybe some of you had the capacity before or um, the, not capacity, what's the word? Tendency is sort of the word, but not necessarily, where you would be reaching out over and over um, for looking for the same answer, but then not liking the answer and then just continuing to ask the same question, which is driving you nuts. Um, for example, like if some people like to read their own tarot cards, so it's like, does so-and-so love me? You flip over the card. You're like, oh, well, they're really worried about their own life. Um, well, does so-and-so love me? Well, you know, they've got a girlfriend now or a boyfriend now or um, they're going to stay with their wife. Like, how does so-and-so feel about me? And you just keep 
asking the same question, hoping to get a different answer, and so not really accepting it, that could be happening. Um, so if you've stopped doing that, don't go back to that type of behavior, okay? What else? Um, now, I feel like for Scorpio, some of you might have been humbled in some sort of a way where I don't want to say that you've been dethroned, you know, that people aren't looking at you the same way, that they're not, like, giving you adoration and attention, that you deserve, but it's like something's happened that maybe changes your viewpoint. And um, I think that this is a good thing, though, because what it does is it teaches you that maybe it's not appropriate to give so much love and focus and attention to those who are not um, giving it back to you, okay? So it's like applying love and attention and, um, you know, sharing your emotions with those who value them is kind of a hard lesson that we had to learn. Um, so what else is there that Scorpios need to know before we get to the number messages? Okay, and we've got Nine of Wands, which is saying that the hardest of the lessons we've already learned in 2016, 2017 should be a better year for you. But it's about continuing to process those and apply the lessons that we've learned to 2017 so that we do have a prosperous year full of abundance and love and joy. Now, our number messages are the following. Um, God's helping you to boost your faith because with faith, anything is possible. So this is going to be about making positive affirmations for the things that you do want and just not thinking about the things that you don't want because the more that we think about those, um, the more we're attracting those into our life, whether we actually want them or not. And the trouble is with Scorpios in specific is that, um, and I can say this because I'm a Scorpio moon, which really amplifies that Scorpio side of my life where um, I feel things on extreme highs and extreme lows. So you know, apathy doesn't exist for me. I'm super in love or I super effing hate you. <laughs> you know, it's one or the other. Um, so, you know, if we're having negative thoughts, we're really feeling negative about it. We're very sensitive people. If we're having joyful thoughts, though, if we're expressing love and gratitude, we're really expressing it in really rapid fire, attracting these wonderful things into our life. So then our next number message says, don't focus on problems or lack. Instead, stay focused on prayer and faith that you're protected, loved, and watched over by, you know, your angels, the ascended masters, God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, that sort of a thing. So that just kind of piggybacks on what we were saying. Like the things that you're worried about, the things that you don't like, just don't even think about them. Because especially for a Scorpio, you might over feel a feeling attached to the lack and therefore attract more of that lack or um, discord, disharmony, sadness into your life by accident. Now, even though it's not what you really want, because the law of attraction really um, is pretty obedient. Like it's going to match whatever vibes you're putting out there. It's going to bring those back to you. So if you don't like something, just, you know, train yourself not to think about it, not to feel, not to uh, um, assign emotion to it. Okay, only the things that you do love. Now, um, your next number message says it's a strong message from Angel saying, trust that everything's working out the way it's supposed to. Everything's okay. Everything's working out the way um, that God has planned that for you. And that with faith, anything is possible. So definitely make your wishes. Um, focus on the things that you desire. And then your final number message here is look only at possibilities and not material illusions. Because you're really powerful and can overcome any situation, any circumstance with a positive mindset, believe it or not. Uh, so, um, total reiteration of what I was saying with Law of Attraction, but that's really going to got to be your focus going into 2017. Positive thoughts only. The negative things, the things that you don't like, the things that you don't want, the things that make you sad, just don't think about them. As soon as you catch yourself thinking about them, think about something that makes you feel really good, full of joy, full of love. Um and then roll with that, okay? So one more here as I was about to hang up. We've got, um, and this is a specific message, maybe not for everybody, but for some of you, that if you continue to focus serving a spiritual purpose through your career, all of your material needs will be taken care of. So some of you are being called to do something spiritual, whether that's, you know, Reiki, whether that's, maybe you're a physician, maybe you're a doctor, and, um, you know, you could ask, God and the angels to help you figure out like what kind of ailments um, your patients have 
and how you can best serve them, how you can best help them out to heal them. Um, even if you work in retail, maybe you sell clothing, you know, you could ask for guidance as to like what kind of outfits could I suggest to somebody that um, would make them feel good about themselves, to make them love themselves, to feel, um, you know, to boost their own self-esteem and, and feelings of worth, things like that. You can apply spirituality to any portion of your life regardless of what your career path is. So love and light, I will see you um, not so far from now for the January readings and January love readings and love and appreciate you loads. Bye Scorpio.